on a bill legalizing gay marriage, and now opponents and supporters are putting it, the heat on legislators to vote their way. WGN's Randy Bellasomo is live at the Thompson Center where supporters are gathered. There's even a TV actor there, right, Randy? That's correct, Courtney. Good afternoon. Lieutenant Governor Sheila Simon hosted the event. She says as a former professor of family law, she is so happy to see what she calls the movement of history in this area. And she is urging residents statewide to support Illinois in becoming perhaps the 10th state to legalize gay marriage. Simon held this morning's press conference alongside openly gay state reps Kelly, Kelly Cassidy and Deb Mel, as well as with Jesse Tyler Ferguson of the hit comedy Modern Family. They were here at the Thompson Center to say that we are all more alike than we are different and that we should not wait for equality in Illinois. Senate Democrat Heather Staines is bringing the Religious Freedom and Marriage Fairness Act to a Senate Executive Committee hearing this afternoon. It could be up for a full vote tomorrow, and if passed, it would be in the hands of the House next week. A new set of lawmakers will be sworn in January 9th. Chicago's Francis Cardinal George has issued a letter urging Catholics to call their state lawmakers and urge them to vote against this. He says same-sex marriage is a legal fiction and is a violation of natural law. The lieutenant governor disagrees. There's a lot of ways that we put together families that don't involve reproduction. Uh, there are many people who are beyond reproductive years, and we allow them to marry. We encourage them to marry when they're in a loving relationship. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, adoption law is a non-natural, it's a legal fiction that builds a family. I do this not just as a legislator, but also as a mom of three kids. I want the world to be better for them. I want them to know that our family is a family like any other in this state. And, um, and they want that too. When people not talk about like the nature of marriage and everything, I mean with what Chris and I have been through this last year with my breast cancer diagnosis and subsequent surgeries, I will, I will sit down and argue with anyone what it is to be in a marriage and what a wonderful wife I have. Supporters of this bill are asked to wear bow ties tomorrow on what's being called Bow Tie Lobby Day. That's when this piece of legislation could be called for a full Senate vote. I'm live at the Thompson Center, Randy Bellasamo, WGN News. Randy, thank you. Chicago is already off to a bad start when it comes to homicide.